everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name's Victoria and I'm back with you with another tarot reading today. Today's tarot reading is going to be called Does He Miss Me? Okay, so it doesn't have to be a male, female, it doesn't really matter because this reading is all inclusive because it's all about love and relationships. So this um, pick a card reading today will be all about um, whether your person or you thinking about the person and whether he misses you or whether you're not in connection with your person at the minute so there's no contact or whether um, he's an ex that you want to know what happened in your relationship that kind of thing today okay so I'll just give a little um, trigger warning first before you we start to pick a deck or a pile or a number um, this is going to be highly emotional reading okay um, I will be reading um, the tarot for each of the numbers yeah so I don't know what's going to come out of each card because I don't um, I shuffle and um, deal my cards I don't pick any of the cards so I don't know what's underneath each pile so I will give you a clean tarot reading I'm using the classic tarot which are these um, gold and um, what would you call that sort of brownish color and I've picked one card from the love oracle which I'll read and turn at the end of your tarot reading I'm also going to use um, some spirit messages that uh, came to me um, just before I um, shuffled and cut your palm just before I meditated um, sorry just after I meditated um, some spirit messages came to me as I was doing those so if you take a big deep breath in now and just try and focus your eyes close your eyes and try and focus on one of the decks and you should get a feeling in which one you would like to pick you can pick more than one okay or you can read all three if you want to that's perfectly fine okay before we start we really appreciate it. it'd be really really nice if you could subscribe to my channel that would help my channel grow and also um i am offering personal uh, readings I have um, affordable readings for all on my Facebook page and the link will be in the box in the description box below now let's start so if I get you all to just close your eyes and take that big deep breath in and then as you open them please would you pick a pile and I'll be quiet for a few moments for you to do that Right, so we'll just move these spirit messages away and we're ready to read for people who've chosen pile two, two, pile one today, okay? So I'll show you the cards I turn them at a different angle today because I'm on a different, in a different room to read your tarot reading so we can have a little bit more privacy and I can concentrate. I will read your oracle card last, okay? So let's have a look what tarot I've got for you today. We have the four of swords. I should put it that way, shouldn't I, so we can read it. I'll put this oracle card up here so we have more space for your reading. We have the Four of Cups. We have the Five of Cups. We have the Six of Wands, which was actually in reverse there. So, sorry, I turned it turn that for you then and I'll just throw that and we have the ace of pentacles okay have we got enough room for this I'm going to read your oracle card last of all okay let's have a look what your reading means for you we'll start at the beginning okay so does he miss you your person straight away with this four of swords card that's come up for you here um he feels um solitude so your person is feeling lonely at this precise minute okay sorry i'll hold that downwards towards the camera so this four of swords here your person is feeling um lonely he sometimes some thinkers telling me also that he's feeling quite abandoned if that makes sense it might not be that you've abandoned him but there's a sense of abandonment okay so whether he just thinks that he's been abandoned or whether he really has been abandoned um, you may have walked away from a, a relationship with him or ne didn't want to continue a relationship or he just has that feeling of loneliness right now. Okay. 
So this person's gone and retreated into their own little world, if that makes sense. Maybe shutting people out as well at this moment. Now, does he miss you? Yes. Okay, can you see this four? I've got to hold this card a bit closer to the camera for you. So, yeah, definitely. Okay. I feel like um, he might be giving you con contrary um, emotions. Yeah, so one minute he uh, is trying to contact you, declaring his doubt and dying love, and then they'll retreat. And you won't hear from them for days and days or weeks or this is what's going on with him right now because he doesn't know I think how you feel about him so he's not sure what he his what his emotions are maybe something isn't quite clear between you right now okay I feel like there's a disconnect and um between you and your person and maybe he's not that satisfied about it, okay? So he's not happy about the disconnect, definitely. Okay, now this doesn't mean that you're still not with this person. You still could be with them and they're feeling this way or you're not with them any longer. Okay, so this could be even a connection that you have with this person already. Maybe you're not in so much communication, but they are actually feeling that you're not around, yeah? They're feeling that either you're not around physically or you're not around in a more um, on his wavelength, yeah? Or what he wants you to be, if that makes sense. Center of your reading is the Five of Cups here. I'm hoping you can see these cards because I'm at a different angle. Right, at the center of your reading is the Five of Cups. Cups is um, yeah they're, they're really quite contrary with you at the minute okay so what they're sort of saying to you is you know I want a connection with you but I'm not sure that you want the same thing they want this loving relationship to work but I think they're not sure how you're feeling right now this connection Okay, they're not sure of your feelings, so they're not sure how to act, if that makes sense. Okay, that's how they're feeling out there. They sort of feel quite abandoned, <laughs> if that makes sense. Now, we've got the Six of Wands cards. This is interesting in this reading because Six of Wands, even in the reverse, um, means uh, disloyalty. Yeah, so I could even be picked up. Maybe your person thinks that, you know, you prefer someone else. Or maybe they think in their own heads that you're talking to somebody else. Yeah, or you prefer to spend some time in somebody else's company. Or maybe you're messaging someone else. And that's, this is what they think. It might not be happening. It could be just in their heads. And, um... They may even have mentioned that to you. Yeah, if that makes sense to you in this connection. Okay, now you've got your Ace of Pentacles, which is an absolutely interesting card because it comes right at the end of you. What they're after with you is a good connection, okay? They're after. Um, contentment that's what the ace of pentacles is so what they're after is some kind of happy blissful union so if you didn't want to be in the relationship and they still do that's what their end goal is so right now they're sort of retreating into the old world now you, you may not have um you might still be with this person okay but this is how they're feeling right now so this is what I'm sensing how they're feeling as well. They want some peace and quiet and calm. Maybe they need to know where they stand, okay? And if you want to still be with them. Or if you are with them, maybe you need to just say, you know, reach out and say, look, I, I still want you, I still love you. It's almost like they're asking for your reassurance and confirmation that you still want them. So 
yeah it might be just their lack of self-esteem or feeling quite low at the minute yeah if that makes sense with you let's turn over this um love oracle card doesn't really matter which way around yeah there you go serendipity yeah so that means this person is after harmony peace and quiet um wanting to know where you stand whether you're on the same page as them now that this is probably stemming out of their own insecurities i think right the straight away the beginning of your reading already tells me with the four of swords here that um they what they think is going on might not necessarily be what's going on if that makes sense okay they could be making it all up in their head but what they're trying to say is they just need to know where they stand they want you on the same page as them um they want to spend time with you um i just heard the words when 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 i could just hear them okay in your reading so it's almost like saying when when is this going to happen um wh when are you gonna, when are we going to get back together when are you going to come and see me when you're going to so i think that they feel a bit um insecure so maybe they just need that reassurance to you know say look i still want you i still love you if that makes sense with you okay in this reading for you number one now we're going to get some of these love messages out for you okay now i wrote these before as after my meditation before i picked and chose all of the cards for the tarot reading today i meditate over my cards before i um cut and shuffle just to i asked them the question you know please help me guide me through this reading today I just ask the tarot and spirit straight out loud to please guide me through the reading to help read for these lovely people. So I'll just shuffle them around a bit and see what spirit messages come out at me. I'll pick this one at the end. Yeah, let's put that down. So have a look what spirit. I want a future with you. Okay. So basically it's what your person is telling you. This person wants a life with you, a future with you, but they're not knowing um where they stand really you know if you want a future with them you need to sort of make it clear or um if you don't maybe you need to make it clear as well or if you they're asking for your time and they're sort of saying when 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 that makes them they're sort of like they're waiting for you to come forward because they the, the basis of your reading is their solitude and the fact that they've withdrawn feel a, feeling a disconnect okay with the four of swords so i hope that's clear oh that's the right way up. so that's it for your reading today on um does he miss me and if you like that or any of my other readings um you um please feel free to look at any of my other videos or you could even pick another number if this doesn't resonate with you it is a general reading take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest okay and um i'll be back with you with another reading very very soon and if you like that reading please share it to anybody that you may want to, want you to hear the reading or a friend that you may like a reading off me or my on my channel i'll be really really happy leave a comment if i um hit the nail on the head i'll be i do um read your comments that's i'll be really happy to do that and check in with me next time and see you soon bye 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 for now Hello everyone and welcome back to those of you who have chosen pile 2 today in this Does He Miss Me reading. Okay, so I'm reading from a different angle. These will be your spirit messages that we'll read at the end of your reading. And we'll have a look what Tara wants you to know today. Number 2. Right, I'll read the oracle card last. Okay, let's have a look. The Magician. I hope you can see my cards from a different angle today. The Three of Wands. The King of Wands. He's in the reverse. The Knight of Cups. And the Six of Pentacles, also in the reverse. Hmm. Well, 
you know, with this magician card right at the beginning of your reading. I mean, this was bound to come out in this reading to the start. Right, there's something very magical about this connection. I know it's obvious with the magician card coming out. This is the card of, um, I was going to say miracles, but this is the card of miracles, basically, um, if that makes sense. Yeah, so your magician is the first card in Zodiac. So this is something that's a situation that's either brand new or some kind of new life that's going to happen for you. Yeah, if that makes sense. Now, let's have a look at the other cards around it for the whole reading. I can see already this is going to be one exciting reading for you. Now, this person... Are they missing you? Yes, very much so. Yeah, so you've got this lovely Three of Wands card here that tells you that they're wishing, okay? There's a wish here for them, okay? When they close their eyes, they're wishing hope and attachment with you. Um, it's almost like... Um, connection they want a connection a deeper connection with you okay they definitely attempted to have a connection with you if, if you're not with each other they've attempted it which means that um they may have already asked you out and it hasn't worked or maybe they've approached you already and you're not sure or maybe your person is um ooh, i just feel like your person has declared some kind of deep affection for you and this card comes out okay now you've got your good old king of wands here okay there's not much difference i think between the king of wands being one way round and one way or the other but this is symbolizing um the king of wands is <laughs> i think your person is just saying look um i'm marriage material <laughs> I will make a good husband and a good marriage and someone's at the door. <laughs> I don't know if you heard the doorbell then. Yep. So um, my doorbell just rang. So the, your person is telling you that um, they're going to make a good husband. They, um, I think they want marriage with you. Okay. I really think this person that after marriage with you or a future with you for sure sort of a new beginning something magical they want something magical to happen between you okay when the king of wands they're very um the marriage material but they're the type of person that can be quite quick to temper okay there's a slight arrogance about them okay that people notice they probably only show you their softer side to you or very few people yeah often the sign of uh, Leo, it rules, or possibly Scorpio. Yeah, they could be a bit hot-tempered, okay? Often with the sign of the King of Wands coming out, the off person often has red in their hair, okay? Doesn't mean that they have got red hair, because have like reddish streaks in their hair. Not necessarily, you know, not for everybody, but it does symbolize that in the tarot meaning. Now, with this Knight of Cups, yeah, this person wants to marry you, okay? definitely want a future because the knight of cups he's bringing you kneeling down he's bringing you his love yeah he's declaring his love i certainly feel like the knight of cups he's i i think this person's already told you how much they love you yeah i truly believe that the knight of wands and the ace i think that this person has told you that they love you um, or deeply, deeply are affectionate towards you. I think they've already declared it. Yeah, so this person misses you terribly if you're not in connection. They may have already told you how they feel, okay, even if you may not feel the same way about them. They are going to work until they're by your side. So either way, this person's coming to get you. <laughs> this person has seen a future with you. He sort of 
thinks you're their soulmate, thinks you're their twin flame, and he's definitely, definitely going to come and get you. There's no doubt about that. He's coming towards you at some point, even if you're not completing some kind of connection or you're in different towns, cities, areas, this person's not going to let you go in a hurry. Yeah, now, Six of Pentacles is the same sort of thing, same sort of card. This is marriage, okay? They, have they mentioned some kind of commitment? They may have even mentioned... I feel like they've mentioned that they want to marry you. <laughs> or are you getting married? Yeah, this person wants marriage with you. Definitely, that card, that card, that card. There's a new... They want this magic, this magical relationship that they have and have sort of conjured up in their head. Okay, they're fantasizing about this with you. So this is definitely what they're after. They think you're marriage material for sure. And I also feel like, did something happen with your connection sort of 30th of April, the first 10 days of May? Did they say they loved you in that, in that time zone? Because that's often the time zone of the six of pentacles usually the end of april first couple of weeks of may mm, how interesting just keep those dates in mind those of you who've read um two but if you're not in complete connection now this person is fantasizing this is what they want okay and they'll make it happen this is what this magician card is about. So this is what they want. The magician, he's going to make sure this happens, even if he has to magic it up himself. So he's going to work. He's coming towards you. He, she, doesn't matter. I say he, but it could be anybody. Yeah. So if this makes sense to you, um, let me know in the comment section down below. So this person wants marriage with you. He sees you in his future. Let's have a look at your, there you go. Your oracle card commitment <laughs> your oracle, all of this is saying this person wants a future with you and he's going to make it happen one way or another so twin flames you see N offer of love i truly believe you he's already told you in the last especially the end of april sort of 30th of april in the first 10 days that they want this whether they've said it lately but they've absolutely told you before that they want you they've declared something to you this is how i feel it could be commitment marriage um definitely declared their love to you already i think okay in the past now let's have a look at these spirit messages okay what does spirit want this one's sticking to my hand did you see that let's have a look if this person misses you oh my god look I am dying to tell you this. <laughs> I can't believe that's come out for you. I'm dying to tell you. He's going to tell you something. They're going to tell you something. They're dying to tell you something. They might have attempted to tell you before. This all makes sense to me. That's brilliant. Yeah. So that's that's your reading. Number two. Lucky, lucky thing. So there's some kind of commitment going on here. I think this person's already... Um, declared some kind of deep love for you in already or in the past definitely may have been in the last month as well I predict so just keep those dates in mind end of 30th of April onwards it might not even be this year unless they unless you know just keep those dates in mind write it down if you want to or we'll refer back to the video again yeah, so that's the reading I see for you, those of you who've chosen number two today. And a lovely reading that was. If you liked that, um, please subscribe to my channel and share this video if you like with a friend or a relative or even your other person that I've told you this is going to be happening in your connection. And um, that's perfectly fine as well. Or maybe they would like a reading off me too. I have loads of videos on my channel now. Go and check out my channel and my playlists. Um, there's quite a few there as well, including Who Will I Marry? Seems to be really, really popular with you all. Now, if you'd like a personal reading with me, uh, my Facebook details are at the bottom. I have something there for everyone in different price ranges, um, starting from uh, 
just a basic um, ask one question up to the um, more fuller reading, more detailed reading. So go and check that out also and subscribe to my channel. That would be really nice. Turn on the notification bell as well. So then if I upload any more videos, you will be notified and they'll come up and then you can have a look if you so wish. So that's all I have for you now on this lovely reading and I shall see you soon and um, check back in with me next time and look after yourself and everyone else around you. Okay, bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. Hello everyone and welcome back to those of you who've chosen pile three in this Does He Miss Me reading today. Right, just have a look what your cards say for those of you. Let's put this there. I'll choose the um, spirit messages um, at the end, at the very end of your reading to see what spirit wants us to say. I'll read your love oracle card at the end of the tarot reading first, okay? Let's have a look at your tarot cards for today. Two of Cups. twisted my hand then the world card the ace of swords strength those are your classic tarot cards right let's have a look now with your two of cups in this reading i feel like your person he misses you terribly yeah i'm saying he it could be she it doesn't matter it's about love yeah do you see that the two of cups the cups always symbolizes love yeah in a tarot so when it's reversed like that your person misses you okay they feel like they've lost their best friend okay um, yeah they feel like they've lost that attachment and security that they had with you um, yeah so that's how they're feeling at this minute now because that's the basis of your reading is the first card there you go there's the world so what they're saying to you is I would have given you the world yeah, because this is a world car that what they wanted to do with you and if they if they still got that um, in, inclination to do all this with you okay it doesn't mean that they're gonna finish with you or you finish with them it means that they want to give you everything so that's they wanted this they, they want a future with you so they wanted to take you traveling um, exploring new countries new places this is what they saw in their mind's eye okay they wanted harmony they wanted to move in with you that they, they wanted to move with you this still all might be happening even though you know this might not be someone I feel like that you're still with this person okay or you want to be with this person still in this reading Okay, this is what the cards seem to be telling me. They want, there is something though that's a bit heavy energy in this reading. We'll continue and I'll try, it might come out through. I feel like there's some kind of heavy energy behind this reading and I can't pick up on it just yet, but I will. Yeah, so this is what they're saying to you. Um, yeah, when the world comes out, it's almost like I hear lessons learnt. That's just been whispered to me. I heard lessons learned, if that makes sense, if that resonates with anybody out there. So I feel like something has happened and the lesson was learned. The Ace of Sword, okay, this is, you've battled through, through something, either as a couple or one or the other, either of you have battled. It's almost like I can see clouds in the way of your connection and you've taken this sword and you've had to cut through, okay, so everything has become more clear, your person is saying to you. So this person is saying to you, everything's clearer now and I get it. Or this is the situation it was, lessons have been learned. OK, 
okay there was a disconnect here there was there was great love here and it went reverse so something's happened um, they want this future lovely connection with you but they feel like some incident had happened and the lesson was learned this is what they're saying this person misses you terribly and that things are not this sort of same I can hear them saying that things are not the same anymore they're just not the same anymore um, it's clearer now lessons learned and it's not the same as it was yeah their life is not the same anymore as it was this is what I hear I feel like some battle is uh, has happened um, the months between September and December are going to be quite significant for you I feel with that card there okay I don't know if that resonates it won't be for all of you but it will be for some okay the months between September and December with the ace of swords there okay now it's telling you that you have had to, have had to put a lot of courage into this a lot of strength into your relationship okay there is a discord I do feel this like this person is still very much in love with you and that they understand you yeah so they're understanding the way you feel and where you where you're coming from so I feel like it's the lessons learned thing but this person this is still a love reading it's still a good love connection maybe it's a renewing of a connection if you know what I mean it could be that they've been part of your past and they certainly want to be part of your future yeah I feel like there's some battle has gone on between you um, a battle that this person is hoping that is gonna clear away and they're gonna come through but you've had to fight for something either as a couple or one of you has had to have a lot of courage and strength to do something I don't see infidelity in this reading I just feel like it's something else so you've had to be gentle and strong yeah you've had uh, I, um, I feel like you've had to overcome fears or a lot of stress it's just made you stronger not made you weaker because the strength card is at the end of your reading yeah so what this person is after is a bit more stability they feels like the lessons have been learned things have been cleared he wants things to clear away be put in the past and they want stability with you you've had a bit a bit of stress and a lot of courage as well in your reading going on i also feel like they may have talked about going away traveling holiday even moving somewhere new maybe moving somewhere new maybe not just yet <laughs> or maybe you were talking about it you know new horizons new new way that's what I see with this reading let's have a look at your love oracle card yeah so you've got the chivalry card in your love oracle so this person is may put you on quite a pedestal I feel they want to come back at you with like a knight in shining armor okay so they've they've learned the lesson and they want to come back at you with what they want to do with you yeah so bringing flowers riding on a horse <laughs> that kind of thing they they will you know that old they see the image of you remember that thing where they wouldn't oh, I don't know which story it was but they wouldn't let the lady walk over a puddle and get her feet wet to put a coat down for them to walk over so they're sort of laying laying their shiver aside at you maybe they're saying they won't treat you the way they did before you won't be treated um, you won't be treated with what happened before he sort of understands now and the lesson was learned and it the repeating the same mistakes won't yeah so they won't happen again he won't do that again or they won't do that again or the situation has changed and that's not going to happen anymore so that's what they they basically want an offer of love for you yeah let's have a look what spirit messages are coming out for you oh oh wow that fell straight out where is it there it is Let's have a look what spirit wants, definitely wanted you to know. 
Oh, they're tired. Okay, now either one or both of you, possibly him, when it's, does he miss me? Tiredness is into it. I'm tired. That's what they're trying to tell you. Maybe they're overthinking. I hear. I feel like this person is overthinking everything or you're overthinking everything. But the spirit wants to tell you that either you or them. I think they're just telling you they're tired. Maybe they're tired of the situation. Um, yeah, tired of the stress of the old situation. And they just want to move on, really. So that's what I hear for you in this reading. For those of you who've chosen number three today, okay? If that resonates with you, that's brilliant. Let me know in the comments down below because I will read them. And um, if this doesn't resonate with you, feel very, very free to pick either deck one or two or a different video on a, a similar or different subject. I have a lot on my playlists and on my channel if you can check that out, no problem. Um, I'd be really grateful and be really nice if you could subscribe. Uh, that's helped me grow my channel and I will keep doing readings for you. If you'd like a personal reading, uh, my Facebook profile will be down listed down below now. I've managed to do it and there's different readings for different um, situations and also um, different um, subjects and check it out, have a look what you think okay so that's the reading i have for you for um those of you who've chosen pile three today if you would like um a friend or anyone to see this reading feel free to share my video as well and just um tell them which time will be on i will time stamp i promise i always forget to do that and i will see you soon okay so take care of yourself and bye-bye for now bye-bye